stocks are still moving higher with the Dow on track for its fifth consecutive week of gains. And my next guest says the market will move higher from here still because this is just the beginning, you guessed it, of the productivity-fueled growth cycle. Is it or is it not? This is all the debated markets. Nancy Tangler says it is. She's CEO and Chief Investment Officer at Laffer Tangler Investments. Nancy, it's great to see you again. Welcome. Kelly, it's so good to have you back. So what what tells you how, how can we know? I mean, this is the most hopeful thing that could possibly happen is, is it's productivity. We can keep growing. It's all going to be fine. What tells you that we might be in the midst of a boom here? Well, uh, you know, I've been talking about this for almost a year. Uh, this is m this market and this economy is analogous to the 1990s when, you know, I said this before, I wasn't only just alive, I was managing billions of dollars. And <laughs> what you see are a number of parallels. And then there's some anomalous events. We were lowering the deficit uh, in the second half of the 90s decade, and it's you know, it's ballooned in this decade, but all of the elements are in place. So there's an inverted yield curve. It looks like we may get a soft landing. Uh, there was geopolitical shock. Uh, there was um, uh, labor shortage. So companies spent on product uh, on productivity enhancing technology. Uh, the 10 year averaged five to 7% for the whole decade and inflation averaged about 3%. Uh, and what Greenspan understood, and I hope this Fed understands is that you can get growth in, and, and not uh, really drive inflation if it comes from productivity. And I think we're there. We're seeing so many use cases for gen generative AI. It ha we haven't even, I think, scratched the surface. Oh, sure. I totally agree with you. And, and you're saying we might already be seeing it play out across corporate America, for instance, companies like Walmart. Yeah, that's the poster child of our investing theme. So we've been focused for the last two years and probably for the next five on old economy, economy companies that are pivoting uh, to digitization, generative AI, cloud computing, and robotics. And this is a company that has done all of the above. And what really, we've owned it for a long time, but what gave us confidence and the and the desire to add to it was when the, the management team last quarter raised a dividend 9% because they have a dividend paying culture. They set the dividend based on a portion of long-term sustainable earnings growth. And then this three for one stock pick, pick just it opens it up to a lot more investors. Yeah, I'm just going back to, you know, kind of looking at that cycle. So the Fed raised aggressively in 1994. Of course, we had all the fallout yeah. at, the, at the moment. Then they cut three times in 1995 and held the Fed funds rate at 5% in 1996. And of course, we all know the script of the, the back half of the 90s. So you think this could have several more years to run? I do think that, Kelly. I, I um, And I'm not always optimistic. You know, I've talked a lot on your air about, hey, we need a correction. But this, this, and we will get them. We will get more. But I, I wrote a piece uh, at, during the correction in March that began in March called Watching Paint Dry. And in it, I just went back and looked at over the last 30 years how different asset classes have performed. There have been a lot of bear markets, a lot of crises. Stocks were up 10.3% annualized during that period. Gold, the next best performing asset, was up 6.2%. So I think what investors should be doing is treating volatility as their friend. When you get the inevitable sell-off in technology, when people start saying what they've been saying for the last five years, that the tech trade is over, you add to positions, and then you look for old economy companies that are embracing uh, technology. Nancy, what do you think, Rick Reader's making an interesting case this weekend that uh, that in order for the Fed to temper inflation, they should lower rates, not, not raise them, and uh, that a cut yeah. would be better at slowing the economy than another hike. Um, and he goes through a couple of reasons why, obviously, people are making tons of money. Those who have cash are making a lot of money off of the income. Maybe the hikes aren't slowing certain areas like housing, although maybe it's with a lag. Do you think that that could be the case this time around, or are we trying too hard to search for an explanation of what's happening? And is your thesis about productivity the simpler answer? Well, I, I do think productivity is what gets us out of this jam, but I do agree with him in this sense. The large cap technology companies, for example, with Fortress balance sheets, have benefited tremendously from higher interest rates, to his point, as have wealthier uh, income the wealthier income co cohort. So I think that he, he raises an interesting issue, but there's something else going on that I think will force the Fed to cut, and that is central banks around, around the globe. I mean, Indonesia rate hiked because the dollar is killing their currency, Sweden and Switzerland cut. So I think we have to remember that our, our central bank policy Im impacts the entire globe. And so I think they're going to be forced to do at least one. Uh, if it has that effect, that's awesome. But we are slowing. The labor market is softening, uh, not dramatically, but at the margin. All right. You're sticking with tech industrials. We mentioned Walmart. You like Oracle Service, now Spotify as well. Where are you doing gas and champagne these days if it's not at Costco? <laughs> 
Uh, Walmart. My Walmart in Scottsdale uh, has Booth Cocoa, and I always uh, fill oh. up my F-150. <laughs> so now I imagine you rolling up with the F-150. Okay, I'm getting a picture, Nancy, of what it's like out it's there. It's not pretty. <laughs> it sounds beautiful, honestly. Uh, Nancy Tegler, thanks for joining us today. Always good to check in with you.